Catherine and I'm Chrissy and we are traveling gleefully. We are in Norway. We finally made it to like mainland real, Europe. Also like real winter. Real cold, yeah. You probably can't see it, but it is like lightly snowing yeah. right now. You might be able, yeah, it's so light. It's so light. Like, I don't think it's barely counts. So yeah, light. yeah. But when you're from Australia, we'll take anything we can. Yeah. <laughs> it's, um, it's like not even temperature much colder. That didn't make a lot of sense. It's, the temperature isn't much colder than England, but it feels colder. Yeah, and there's like, as you can see behind us, like piles of snow yeah. everywhere. When we came in to land yesterday, the airport is like covered in oh snow. Oh my gosh. It's like the only bits not snowy are the runways, and then. Yeah. Everything else is just ice. But um, yeah, so we are in Oslo. Um, we're here only for a couple of days and then we head up north, very north. Um, to hopefully see the Northern Lights, but the weather is not looking great. So yeah. I guess we'll see. We'll see, but even if not, there's like exciting things to do up there. Yeah, and it's supposed to be like beautiful scenery, so yeah. it'll be great to see anyway. Yes, but we are very excited to be kind of starting our Europe, Europe. Um, adventure and we'll show you what we got up to in Norway. Something is happening. Someone's arriving. So that was fun. We uh, we just walked up to the royal palace just because it was, you know at the end of the main street and a place to go and as we got there someone arrived we don't know who but they had like a it was like a little welcome party thing so, <laughs> but like with like, like a security and... guards and like yeah trumpets and then like the they were like like doing like military style marching and stuff so that was kind of fun to see um and now we are gonna go wander through the city towards another park that has some sculptures in it um, and hopefully we won't fall over because it is it's icy, so icy and we do not have appropriate <laughs> shoes for this. We made it to the park. We made a snowball. It's like, it's so beautiful with all the snow everywhere. You can see like there's sculptures all along this walkway, like along this side and here as well. What have you made? We <laughs> made a snowman. Well, I made three snowballs on top of each other and I don't have anything to put eyes or anything in him, but. She just killed her snowman to throw it at me. We have made it to the, uh, I'll say it in my Australian accent, um, Vige Land. <laughs> we'll put the name on the screen so you can Sculpture see Sculpture well. Park. Um, it's named after someone with the same name. Um, and it is, it's beautiful, but it's like very odd. I read online that some of the sculptures are bizarre and that's, that's right. That's accurate. This is just a sculpture of like, look. It's a stack of people. Just people. I like this one. I'm confused by it. Are they carrying him? Is it like a struggle? Is it like... Are they gonna throw him off a bridge? Like what? what's happening here? But this is definitely my favorite. <laughs> what on earth? <laughs> it's like that scene in High School Musical 2 where Ryan and his mom are just on, on their heads doing like yoga. That's what it reminds me of. Um, but it's very cool and it's just like blanketed in snow, which is just gorgeous. What do you think? It's so nice. We've both obviously seen snow before. We've gone skiing in Australia, but it's kind of different because like where you go skiing in Australia, the cities are like designed around snow. Yeah. Like, like the towns are like kind of only really functional during winter, like during summer, they're very empty. Whereas here, like we're just in a city. Yeah. It happens to be covered in snow, um, which I don't think I've ever experienced before. Yeah. Like it's a, it's a novelty for me. I'm sure if you lived here, you'd be like, I just want snow there. Yeah. But, <laughs> but for it's us, cool. it's very exciting. It is snowing a bit more now. Again, I don't know how well it picks it up on the camera, but you might be able to see it. It's very fun. It's so pretty. We love snow. 
we've come down to the harbour um, and it is so beautiful. You can see like these mountains over here are all like snow capped. Catherine's gotten cold from <laughs> added a layer. Look at my nose. I've, I've added gloves. <laughs> it's, it is chilly, um, but it's so pretty. We have come up the fortress. It's, it's cool. I think it said it was built in 1300. It was used as a, it said it was used from 1800 or something. Is Yeah, it's been used as a lot of stuff. Yeah. It's like a fortress, like a royal palace. I think it said now it's used as like the school. Yeah, like the armed forces Armed school. forces school, defense and school, yeah. there's a museum just over there. Yeah, but it's very cute. I'll show you. Look at this view. So this is all like within the fortress that we can see here. And then this over here, that's the museum. We're trying to get in as much exploring as we can before the sun sets in like 40 minutes. And before um, we freeze. And yeah, before we freeze. I reckon once the sun starts setting, we're going to head back to the hotel and yep. defrost. It has such good heating. I'm so excited. Behind us here is the opera house. Um, and you can see this like, ramp up the side. Well, it's actually stairs, I think. But you can walk all the way up to the rooftop. So we're going to go up there and check out the view. Mm -hmm. Day two in Oslo. It is a beautiful day. Look at that blue it's sky. But cold. It's very cold. And then after all the snow yesterday, it's very icy. Um, we are excited for day two of exploring before we head somewhere new tomorrow. Um, I think we're just at the moment heading to like a cool, like neighbourhood of uh, Oslo. But we're going to walk along the river to get there. Took us a bit of time to find a um, safe path down to the river walk. We still slipped. Yeah, a lot of them were very steep, and you could like see footprints and then like slide marks where people had like fallen down. Um, but we found one, and it is very beautiful down here. You can see the river next to us. There's a lot of ducks playing, um, and it's just it's so nice in the snow. which has more statues, but these ones are like by a bunch of different artists. I think there's some by Dali. It's right up on a hill. Yeah. Well, I don't think we realized that when we No, we didn't. <laughs> decided I decided like, to come here. Everything on Google Maps looks flat. Yeah. But it is not. It's on top of a hill. Yeah. Which means we have a pretty cool view of Oslo. We do. Um, but also we're tired. Yep. Um, but yeah, we'll show you some of the sculptures and then we're going to try and leave here before dark because we don't want to be up on a hill in the snow when it gets dark um but it's very pretty up here we just love seeing everything covered in snow mm -hmm. it's just so cool it makes everything look better from the airport. Good morning. It's um, like 7 a.m. but it feels a lot earlier. <laughs> um, it's currently, oh well, let's see if I can, it's like, I don't know if it's snowy or just foggy or, but it's like white and very um, cold outside. Um, we have a flight, I don't know if we said already, but we are going to Tromsø today, which is very northern Norway. I think it's like 
It's oh. 350 kilometers above the Arctic Circle. Yep, so very high, very, very cold, but supposedly one of the best places to see the Northern Lights from. So fingers crossed. Hello from Tromso. Hello. We made it. The Thank flight you. was pretty good. It was, it was, um, I'm not sure if Chrissy, no, she didn't film it, but I had the only seat on the plane that was just like wall. Even the one opposite me, like on the other side of the aisle, had a window. So we couldn't really see much of the scenery coming in, which was kind of annoying. No, but we can see it now. And it, oh, hang on, it's got copper gloves on. Um, Look at those mountains. Like, we'll film a bit more later, but we got to our Airbnb, which is like incredible. It's when so I, cute. Like the house is really cute. I understand why this Airbnb had such good reviews because it is like, it's really modern inside, but it's like a log cabin outside. It's not log cabin. It's not like log, a, but like it's wooden. like wooden. But it's kind of like most of the places here. Yeah, it's but it's, so it's so cute. And they have two cats. We'll show you the cats later. Obviously. Um, and we're just so excited. We just booked a very expensive Northern Lights tour that runs from 6 p.m. to 1 a.m. tomorrow night. <laughs> But yeah, we're just heading into town. We're gonna look around for a bit and get some food because we have eaten almost nothing today. Um, but, but we're like so excited to be here. It's like the furthest north either of us have ever been and probably like, will, will ever, ever go. be. Yeah. Um, and it's just, it's like so cool. It's very different from like anything else we've seen. And it's actually not that much colder than Oslo. In fact, it feels not as cold, which is weird, um, but I'm, I'm thankful. Our host gave us little rubber spikes that you just pop on the bottom of your shoes. So hopefully no more slipping. With Look, it's already working. We're walking like on ice and we aren't falling. So. I know, maybe we won't need to hire the 60, oh no, $30 a day shoes. Yes, we love money we, saving. That we thought we would, so that's, that's always good. said she's 12 um, and she's very sweet yeah. and over here hiding away oh you can you can see her white paws but you really can't see anything else so it's been hours since we tried to film Ella on her little chair she's finally ventured out she's um She's the ruler of this house, as you can probably tell by the way she's lying on the floor by the heater. Good morning! It is day two in Tromso. It is windy, as you can see. And but you it's... might see we have matching beanies. Yeah, we bought you beanies yesterday because <laughs> the ones we had, um, which I made both of, and I made them for like Australian winter, but they were like the best beanies we had. Um, and let me tell you, an Australian winter beanie does not cut it for a northern Norway beanie. It was just like one layer of wool. Yeah. Whereas these are lined. These are like fleece fur. lined. Yeah. I mean, fake fur. But. Yeah. But we are walking down into the city again to go to the Polar Museum, um, which we've heard good things about. Our Airbnb hosts recommended it. We're in the Polar Museum and we accidentally stumbled into an entire gay exhibit <laughs> it's like they've got like 10 rooms that are like always the same and then they have one room that like they rotate out different exhibits and at the moment it's one called what's it called queering polar history mm -hmm. and it's basically got it's, it's actually done really well we'll show you in a second but it's got like stories about like polar history and like how you know explorers found stuff whatever and then on the other side it's got like the gay history of that same thing it's cool um and they also are selling pride flags in the gift shop, so we love. <laughs> we love how gay Norway is. Yeah, so this is like the story of this, this person that um, lived in the Arctic Circle. And then on this side you have the actual, oh, let me go back, the actual like artifact that they're talking about. And then here it tells you 
about the same story but like with the gay twist that is often like left out of history it's really interesting and very cool finished up at the museum um, which was quite interesting it's a lot it was bigger than we expected yeah. um, like it's not in a very big building but it's two stories it's three stories mm, true it is yeah three stories like when I saw it I was like oh we're gonna be here for half an hour because I just thought it was one room but it had ten rooms yeah eleven if you if you count the like yeah, queer in exhibition tiny building I don't know how they did that um, but yeah it was really interesting they had a lot of like the history of like exploring the arctic circle um and that kind of thing but they also had a lot of the history of like killing seals and killing walruses yep. <laughs> and killing polar bears um so that that was that was a lot it's probably 50 percent killing related yeah ex exhibits yeah and there was like a lot of um like animal skins and stuff um but it was very interesting and now the sun is um well the blue sky is out but also like the sun is setting soon but the weather does appear to be clearing up a bit. This morning it was quite cloudy, um, which is good for our evening activity. We're now going to head back to our Airbnb to have some food. Um, and we will probably put the phone away now because it is very icy and a bit slippery. Um, Catherine just slipped and then, as a defense mechanism, <laughs> grabbed onto me and almost took us both down. <sighs> Gotta do it. We're in this together. I disagree. We are currently on our way. We're going on a Northern Lights tour. A Northern Lights chase. Yes, we're very excited. We're, we're not hopeful, just because that's the best way to move. But also, like, the weather isn't great. Both of our Airbnb hosts, when we woke up this morning, they were like, oh, is your tour still going ahead? And we were like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and they were like, oh, because it's a bit warmer today, like, the weather will be worse. Like, the colder it is, the, like, clearer the weather is. Um, so, yeah, I guess we'll see. But, I mean, we can see some stars, so that's definitely a plus, you know. And also, um, like, everything we've read says that, like, with the tours, they just, like, if the weather's not good here in Tromso, they're just going to take us somewhere else. Um, which I think is why it's, like, a seven-hour tour, because they basically factor in, like, in case they need to drive you two and a half hours away. Yeah. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, we can see some northern lights it is like the main reason we came up this far north so you fingers have to crossed give it a try there is literally no time of year or no anything we could have done to guarantee it so we've just come at a good time of year and like that's all we can do yeah we've got a couple days um the two we've booked like if you don't see them um you can book for the next night for 50 percent off um so we've got that as an option if we need yeah fashionable oh yeah it goes so well with the jumper yeah and the other jumper and the scarf and the hat <laughs> something that we've been struggling with in um norway and also that we were struggling with a bit in england is you it's so cold outside so right now we both have like two thermals on two jumpers and a puffer coat and then we walk into this place to wait and they've got the heating on and it's like 25 degrees in here and I am sweating but like I can't take off all of my layers because I'm just gonna have to put them all back on to go outside <coughs> why why do they have the heating so high we're using a phone torch you to light us up and it's all you can see is my mouth <laughs> it's so dark um, but oh hello um, it's really really dark so obviously you can't see us but we are currently looking at the northern lights Yes. Um, it's so cool, but we can't really film it. Like it's just not picking up the thing. But we have a bunch of photos, so I'll put like, I'll just put like a little nice little slideshow of some photos in. Yeah. Um, but they are so cool. They're like not as green in person as they are in photos, just because like human eyes can't see colors that well in the dark. Um, but they are still kind of greenish. Um, I didn't know that it isn't just like the Instagram level of green in real life until our guide was like no it's not faked but like that's 
a camera is better than your eyes essentially yeah um but we're gonna go somewhere else soon and see if we can get like better lighting but they basically they were like we might have to drive for like two and a half to three hours and then after like an hour they were like okay there's some lights get out of the bus we are so lucky but we're gonna go somewhere like a bit better because we're like across the water from like a town and there's like heaps of other buses here so obviously it's like very busy but it is so cool and also the stars just incredible we know uh, that their average speed is like 400 kilometers a second on average and we also know the distance between our planet and the sun so we know that it takes approximately three days before they arrive so if for example if there is some big solar eruption happening right now we know that in three days we can expect some good northern lights um we thought we would do a northern lights recap because it's been days and we just keep forgetting yeah <laughs> but i'll put this in the video where it's like meant to go after the northern lights yeah so you won't notice a difference but for us it's been like three days yeah i think going into it we were so like nervous obviously because it's like quite expensive i think it was like 150 dollars each yeah about that because it depends on like so many different factors that all have to like be in alignment yeah we were, yeah, we we're a bit scared because the weather changes so quickly there. Like in the morning it can be disgusting and that afternoon it can be great. But when we were walking to our tour we could see the stars and we were like, oh, this is a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> we got on the bus and our guide, my favourite thing he said was he, he was like, are you guys excited? And everyone was like, yeah. And he was like, well, don't be. <laughs> so he was like, get your expectations low. And we were like, okay. Like Chrissy said, I think you need solar flares, three days prior and a low magnetic field and good weather yeah but luckily because of where we were so far north um like near tromso basically what he was saying is like if if you're in summer with clear skies and the lights happen you will see them um as opposed to like further south they may be happening but you won't be able to see them because they're too far north and tromso was so easy to get to it wasn't ridiculously expensive like no. yeah it was great but yeah so we drove for less than an hour and our guide was like I don't want to spoil you guys but I think I see the lights and we all looked out the windows and I was like I don't see anything yeah. <laughs> um, he had warned us that they don't appear bright green all the time or at least to the edge of the naked eye they don't appear bright green like you see in the photos what we'd heard other people like someone we follow on Instagram saw them and was like I thought it was a funny looking cloud mm. and that's exactly what we thought we were yeah. like you know like that cloud is really weird but then like when you when you really looked like when once you were out of the bus for a while and your eyes adjusted mm. to the dark you could see that they were green but then they're, they're not that vibrant green that you see in but I also they're think like a kind of dull green I, yeah and I also think it's it's kind of like magical because you you just see them and you're like oh that's, that's pretty cool but then you take a photo and you're like oh my god and then um so after the first stop we drove for like another half an hour um and then we saw another really good lot but uh we probably only got to see them for like 20 minutes and then the clouds came over um and our guide was like let's just wait like the cloud may move and i think it was like 9 p.m by this point so we had another well, like four hours of the tour yeah. so he was like we'll just wait and we got like hot chocolate and cookies and we all sat on the bus um, but then he was like the clouds getting worse and the magnetic field is like so strong let's just leave um but we were he was really happy with what we saw and we were all happy and it was yeah. by the time we got back it was almost midnight so i also um, thought i really liked the tour we booked because we saw a couple of tours that were like we'll take you to a spot and give you entertainment and you might see the lights whereas i think a chase tour is the best because our guide was like we will just drive until we see them and if yeah. there's cloud here we'll drive over there and if they disappear we'll drive somewhere else like a chase one is definitely the best yeah and the one option. We, the one we booked as well was like a um, northern lights chase photography tour mm. so when like when we first got on the bus before we saw the lights at all when we were driving out of tromso he was giving everyone instructions on exactly what camera settings to use like on iphone on android and on like an actual like digital yeah. manual camera um, and he was telling everyone like what ISO to have, like everything, so that you got the best photos possible. And they like came through the bus and individually were like, do you have the right settings? Like, did you understand the instructions? Do you need any help? So yeah, it was really that good. was which very like obviously important. if you are a photographer, you probably yeah. know all that. But if you're not a photographer, um, or you're just even if you're just like using a smartphone, 
probably like good to have a look at the photography too mm. because they what they really did help. It was um, amazing. I would definitely recommend it, but definitely give yourself a couple of days. Yeah, don't try and like do it on your last night. That would be my tip. Give yourself time, like a couple of days. Find a tour that gives you like 50% off or a discount on the second one. Consider and probably do a chase or a photography related tour or both like we did. Yeah, it was it was so good. Um, but yes, now we will get back to the day after that, like three days ago. So enjoy the rest of the vlog. Hello. It is our last full day in Tromso and it is snowing. It's snowing a lot. Quite a lot. <laughs> It's, um, we didn't really do anything yesterday. So we went like the Northern Lights tour was like two days ago. Um, yesterday we didn't really leave the house. We just had like a chill day because it was snowing and it is still snowing. And like two days ago, this was just like a, like road. Icy road. We are icy, but also like patches of ice. It wasn't all icy. And now it's like deep snow. Um, so that's fun. It's very cool, but it's not the nicest to be out in. <laughs> no. But we spent literally all day on the couch yesterday, so we thought we needed to get out and enjoy the fresh snow. Yeah. So we smell slipping everywhere. I know. It is. It's really beautiful, but it's, it's getting the snowflakes in your eyeballs yep. is not very nice. <laughs> Alright, we've got umbrellas out now to stop the snow hitting us in the face. Um, last night was really interesting. Our Airbnb hosts had like extra Christmas dinner or leftover. Yeah, they had. Well, I, think, I don't think it was Christmas dinner. It's like the, the meal that's traditionally eaten at Christmas. Yeah, but I but think they had family over the night before. Yeah, they just had some leftovers. But it, yeah, it's the stuff they normally eat for Christmas, and they were like, "Do you want to try some?" And we were like, "Yeah." <laughs> so we had like a traditional parts of a traditional Norwegian Christmas dinner and it was like it was like salted lamb yeah it but was lamb like ribs cured, yeah it was like cured lamb and then we had like potatoes and then like turnip mash um and then dessert was like this raspberry syrup on rice pudding mixed with cream but they call it porridge it was very interesting it was really nice it was like not not too dissimilar to like what we would have yeah. for Christmas um, but it was, yeah, it was really tasty. All right, we are back at the Airbnb. Um, the snow just kept getting heavier. But we were out on a mission to get our Norway postcard and we succeeded. Yep. And we also got some stuff for lunch, which we're cooking now. Um, so mission was successful, but we got cold and wet. Um, so now we're just going to stay in here and be cozy all afternoon. I mean, I feel like that's part of the enjoyment as well. Like being in this adorable Airbnb. Oh yeah. Okay. Yes. That's part of the enjoyment. I thought yeah. you meant like being cold and wet. No, no. Like outside. coming... <laughs> Coming like I don't feel bad coming back and like spending time in the Airbnb because like it's so lovely just yeah. being so cozy and then looking outside and seeing like so much snow. Yeah, it's so nice. If we come over here, firstly, Ella has found a new spot today. Um, look at this. I don't know. I don't know how easy it is to see the actual snow coming down, but I think you can. Um, but yeah, yesterday this was all just like icy, but you could see the grass through it and now you can not at all. All right, we're just about to leave, but this is our cute Airbnb. Here's like a little sitting room and then we have a little sunroof. Bathroom. And then this was our, our room. With the very comfortable two dunas. We had a little coffee station. And then here was our view. It's been snowing pretty heavily, so it's pretty thick. Look at that. 
When we arrived, our Airbnb host said you can see the Northern Lights over that mountain sometimes. We are waiting for our bus to the airport to leave Tromso, which is sad, but also like we're getting a little bit sick of the snow. I'm not. Um, I'm mostly getting sick of not having the right shoes and like slipping over in the snow every day, um, especially with this on my back. Um, but we have loved our time here. Like mm. our Airbnb was so cozy. It was beautiful. Um, our Northern Lights tour was great. The city's really cute. Um, but like mostly we've just been kind of relaxing and it's yeah, been fantastic. It's been um, so we will, we will miss this little, well, I was going to say little city, but it's actually like the biggest city in Northern Norway. Um, and now from here, we go back to Oslo tonight and then we start like five-ish weeks of pretty much non-stop traveling, um, which is very exciting. But we have, but we've loved our like relaxing time and we have, Similar to our Asia and then Europe sort of section, we have another relaxing block. So we have another five week block of traveling and then another three weeks of chilling. So yeah, I'm excited. Like it's good to have that traveling knowing we've got that relaxing time booked in as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we're going to miss Tromso. It was very cute. Would definitely recommend as a, yeah. like a place to come see the Northern Lights. You, you can see them in the city, but it depends on the weather. But if not, the tours go yep. like elsewhere. Um, but yeah, it was, it was great. And now, now we're heading back to Oslo. So we'll see you there. It's very dark at this restaurant, but we are out for dinner of our, for our last night in Norway. And we've gone with a traditional Norwegian meal. So Catherine's got, it's like Norwegian meatballs with potatoes and pea stew, it's called. Um, and I have, I can't pronounce it, but I will put the name on the screen. Um, it's a sweet a Norwegian like beef stew um, that is served with like flatbread, which you can't see in the dark. Um, but it smells delicious. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. afternoon which is very fun um, so we've got a almost eight hour bus ride ahead of us okay, we just got some pastries Let's see if we can see in the bag oh, when we were at the bus station we walked through it a couple days ago when we were in Oslo last time and we could smell this like insane cinnamon smell and we were like we're gonna get those on the bus and there was a deal for four for like fifteen dollars so we got four this one is cinnamon and custard I also got like, cinnamon separately, vanilla separately, and then a chocolate one. So I'm gonna try this one. I'm excited. I don't I might just take a bite of this one. Yeah, go for it. Mm. Worth it? Yeah, it's like a delicious cinnamon roll. Oh yeah. We will obviously wrap up our Norway vlog here, um, but we have had like a great time here. We like didn't really have many expectations, especially of Oslo. We literally only came to Oslo because we kind of had to to get up to Tromso. Yeah. Um, but we really liked it. Yeah, I think Tromso especially was like gorgeous. But I I do think like would we have had would we have enjoyed Tromso as much if we didn't see the lights? I mean, we enjoyed it before we saw the lights. Yeah, we but did. if we hadn't seen the lights, we may have been like it would have been a bit, bit disappointed. Yeah, but now it's just sweet. Yeah, and it, like it was such a beautiful city. Yeah, um, and like with the snow and being all cozy in our Airbnb with the two cats, it was yeah, great. It was lovely. Um, but yeah, so we'll leave this vlog here, um, and we are we're heading off to Malmo in Sweden today. So we will have a vlog from there, hopefully pretty soon.